Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, I have officially passed my ARDMS abdomen examination. And just like I did with the SPI, I wanted to come on here and kind of give you guys like study tips on how I passed it on the first try, um, what worked for me, what might have not worked for me, and um, yeah. So yes, I literally took the exam this morning and I've been hype ever since. My mom and I went and got lunch because I was like, ooh, I deserve that because I have been studying my behind off. So let's talk about it. So when you look online, the exam says that it's like 180 questions. Um, so it's going to range, I believe, from like from my test it's like 165 to 175 and I've heard that let's say there's like five or seven of them that are kind of like questions that are almost for like statistics so what what I mean by that is like they'll ask you something kind of off the wall and that's doesn't count towards your final score um that's more so for their statistics that's what I've heard do I think that I saw that on my test maybe um but I just didn't find any questions that were too crazy off the wall so first things first so I originally wanted to do OBGYN and then I was like I think that abdomen makes more sense for me to do first just because it's what I scan the most in my clinical um settings at the time now I'm graduated <laughs> and um yeah so I decided to do abdomen I thought that I just had a better understanding of it and so once I figured that out I purchased this book this is the um Stephen M. Penny book the examination review for ultrasound this does have abdomen and OBGYN I think that this was great for abdomen I'm not 100% sure about OB but I will be using this for OB um, this one has like 15 chapters and what I like, 15 chapters for um, abdomen, I think. And what I like about it is that it breaks everything down. It'll give you charts and then it gives you 40 questions, like practice questions at the end of each chapter, which I think really help because it focuses on the most important and what you might be tested on um I took notes throughout this like you can I think you can like rent the book and stuff so you don't have to take notes in it but I definitely it's a great read but I definitely recommend taking notes like with it because if I didn't write it out for me personally I just wouldn't have grasped um everything the images in here I think are very good as well and I think they're pretty accurate to what I saw on the test like I saw um a picture of biliary atresia um, and I believe I saw that in here um, so yeah it definitely helps it helped me learn anatomy too um, one question they like to ask about like the ligaments and also like the fissures and all that so um, this helped me kind of grasp the understanding of that of like ligamentum venosum falciform ligament ligamentum teres etc um it also asked about what separates whatever lobes i believe it showed me like a waveform and it would ask you like oh what does what vessel does this go with and this book i think really goes in depth when it comes to that so it'll show you how let's say portal vein waveform would look normally versus cirrhosis and I think that that's going to be good to know for the exam um also showed images of like a mega ureter which I definitely saw showed images of um recannulized um umbilical vein as well yeah this red book honestly is what I mainly used um to kind of grasp the full-on understanding I also did do an Edelman seminar. I did the three-day one with Steven. His last name starts with a B. I just don't want to mispronounce it. That helped me tremendously. Honestly, I um, did it as a last-minute thing. And it helped me tremendously. And then the book that goes with it helped me a lot, too. That's the book that came with it, which is, like, what, 200 pages? Um, it literally that's what I even read like this morning before I took the exam like what I was skimming because he does a really great job like this book gives you charts and like tables and then for Edelman he gives you charts and tables like 10 times like even more simplified and more specific and 
will even give you a chart of the anatomic relations of everything in regards to the pancreas so like gda common bile duct where is the sma and smv in regards to the uncinate process of the pancreas like everything that helps a lot because they will ask you anatomy questions and it will be basic from what i remember um i also used ultrasound registry review i'll be honest with you a lot of people say that it helped them a lot it definitely I think it helped me with understanding how they might ask me a question because ultrasound registry review in my opinion is hard um and it's very complex i have davies as well and davies versus ultrasound registry review like ultrasound registry review i think is 10 times harder whereas davies is it davies is difficult because it does have to deal with like all of the content but it's just I think it's worded a bit more simple and the questions that they ask are I think a little bit more specific in regards to like pathologies. Um, so between Davies and Ultrasound Registry Review, I think Davies is great to learn the anatomy and pathology, physiology, and then I think that Ultrasound Registry Review is good to kind of understand how hard or how difficult a question can get and how to break down those registry questions because um they were kind of similar like i feel like a lot of people say the abdomen is the hardest one and obviously i've only taken abdomen this one time so i don't know yet um but it was between Davies and ultrasound registry review is like a sweet middle like a little bit more towards ultrasound registry review I just felt like ultrasound registry review was like too difficult and it would frustrate me like because like the scores that I would get on the test I was like oh my god I was like I'm going to bomb this but apparently not um so if you're using that don't feel discouraged like if you're getting like 50 60 70s on like those practice tests because they're practice tests and um I don't know I just they're they're more difficult for sure but it's good for the they have great images on there as well um it just depends on how you learn I just think Davies was much more I like the fact that you can go into like the study and learn mode and you could choose your answer and if it's wrong it'll give you the explanation as to why it's wrong or if it's right it'll give you the explanation as to why it's right I did the same thing for my SPI I just used Davies and I was fine um so I liked Davies a lot but I, I did use a combination of everything. I think really what helped me the most was the seminar. I know the seminars can get like a little expensive, so I know everybody can't do that. But this red book I think will be, is I think this is a great investment because it has two registries in one um, and it'll give you good explanations. It has definitions at the front of every chapter and you have 40 questions at the end of every chapter. So you have a lot of questions. Um, they have a lot of great diagrams as well um also honestly googling like sometimes when i study i get very flustered and like i'll be talking about like cushing syndrome and then i'm like wait a minute what's that ligament that separates the caudate lobe so like i would google like the little questions that i had in my head to like reassure myself that like i was correct or if i was incorrect like why i was incorrect so yeah there's also the app i talked about this in my spi video it's called prepry um it has now questions for abdomen obgyn peds vascular whatever um that app now like when i used it before right i could do like 120 question mock exam for physics and it was free now you have to pay for the app um for those so the reason why i still have the app downloaded is because you get uh, daily questions that you can do from like each like um section so like spi peds ob abdomen etc and then you can do 10 question quizzes so i'll do 10 question quizzes to kind of quiz myself on what i know what i don't know um and then i'll also do you can flag questions and then you can do like flag question review tests and that was great for me because I do still work or even when I was still like in school and studying like if I was at clinical and I just didn't want to bring my book to lunch I could still do questions or like mock exams on my phone and I think that that was really helpful they do have explanations with it as well and they have images as well 
Um, overall, I think all of those things really helped me pass this exam. My teacher did um, a review as well. And so I took the final because I didn't take the ARDMS exam before graduation and for that final i studied all of her powerpoints so that helped me a lot too so maybe your program if you still have like powerpoints from your program that you graduated because i definitely downloaded all those OBGYN ones because i'm like when i take my test <laughs> um or if you're currently in school and you still have them or you're comfortable with the books i would use them one thing i probably would have done and what i meant to do but i was just I was a little lazy um they will ask you about like physics um in regards to like doppler artifacts and such so wall filter prf your scale um or even like mirror imaging and such so the chapter i don't remember what chapter it was but in the green book for um physics go through that chapter that has all like the spectral and doppler artifacts because that's typically what they're gonna ask you and during the edelman review he made a page that says like the most common neonatal adrenal mass the most common uh childhood adrenal mass the most common childhood renal mass um they'll ask you that stuff like that so kind of basic but then there's ones that make you think more they're not long paragraphs one thing about Davies they'll give you a, t a hefty paragraph okay they're not really long paragraphs the longest I saw was maybe what three sentences but I mean I guess the font was smaller so maybe that's why it didn't look like a paragraph but um so yeah that was my experience um overall it was so funny because when I was leaving like the guy he was like this sweet older man and he took my ID. He was like, looks about right because, you know, you take a picture. And then he looked at, like, my score and then he looked at me and I was like, did I pass? And he looked at me. He just, like, kind of winked, like, nicely. And I was like, okay. And then I looked and I was like, thank God. I was like, thank God. Because it's tough. And then I even spoke to some sonographers that I've met today and being like, hey, I passed my abdomen. And they were like, yeah, that was definitely the tougher one. So like, I'm interested to see like what OBGYN brings me when I start studying for it. But it was tough. But then a lot of them are like, oh, okay, I know that or like, you'll be able to eliminate the answers based upon the question and then all the answers. Like That's what I can remember. Um, overall, I a lot of people say oh you feel like you're failing i felt like i was failing and i wasn't at the same time don't know how to explain it i was just like i knew that there were questions that i had in the bag and then there were some that i kind of doubted myself on so i flagged them i had half the t more than half the test flagged before i turned it in um and i just kind of did the ones that i knew i i don't know if it's true that like they um like questions will generate more if you like get one wrong I don't know like I, I I don't know so I but I I still would answer them I would just flag them and know to go back um answer though I think that a good like tip is answer the ones that you know answer the ones that you think you may know flag them and then the ones that you don't know guess on them flag them and then go back and then go through it because sometimes they'll ask you a question that's similar or like related to that same pathology or piece of anatomy and you you could probably put two and two together like it, it's a test where like you can probably put two and two together once you go through all the questions it's annoying because i was on question 80 something i said damn i gotta go all the way down all the way down 80 more but overall um i think i had an okay testing experience it's not an easy exam it i don't know I don't even know just question mark but this here and edelman seminar prepared me like no other if honestly this book is good but if i just did the book i wouldn't have been able to pass i think just because even when i did spi i did an edelman conference with my class and for me i'm an auditory learner so when, when i heard him like speak and explain different things and I was reading it with his booklet as well I was like oh there we go because then he would break it down and then at the end of his seminar he also did like um questions with images and he would say okay what's that and that helped a lot so I hope this video helped good luck to you all taking your boards if I can do it <laughs> 
you can do it um best of luck if you have any questions let me know down below um i hope this video was able to help in any way if you were looking for study material or just trying to see like what the testing experience was like it's nerve-wracking but once i sat down those nerves were there but they kind of just flew and i was like all right it's showtime so you guys will do great. Thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for watching me on my journey. I'm now graduated and I do work. And so I can't wait to continue to get back on here and talk about my experiences or answer more questions that you guys have for me um, now as a <laughs> registered sonographer. I mean, it feels so surreal to like say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know. You want to see a day in the life of the sonographer? You want me to ask, answer more questions? You want me to sh like talk about what I may use for like studying for future exams? Let me know. Like I'm all for it, and I'm really excited um, to be fully registered. I it's surreal and I kept I keep saying it to my mom I'm like mom like what and she's like I know I'm like I'm sorry I keep saying it she's like no keep saying it baby girl she's like you deserve it so but yeah I'm registered so <laughs> thank you guys so much I'll see you guys in the next one bye